morning and welcome to Kantipur TV Yoga. I am Sayan and in today's episode, we will be doing a very fun standing flow. We are going to practice a lot of strengthening and bending for our legs and hips. And this flow will be a lot of fun, so you can follow it with me. Song is sung in Gaurav and Ajay Ramayla Onza. And you will be able to learn a few ways how to transition into other asanas. So, to make it a little bit more outgoing and extroverted practice you will be opening up your hands and chest and uh, hips quite a lot so this asana practice say i would love if you could join with me and do it together and not keep it for later so whenever you're ready you will come into any comfortable seated position first we will do a tiny breath work as a grounding practice so you can do a meditation if you want you can do breath work pranayam practice Just to make sure, if you're practicing breath work, you can just do normal breathing. Pranayams we always keep for the end of the practice. So after asana practice, you practice pranayam and not before. So while we come into a comfortable seated pose, you'll breathe in from your nose into your chest and belly. You can exhale from your mouth a few deep breaths. Use your lungs to really open up your lungs. After a few deep breaths, you should feel nice and relaxed. Your mind should feel grounded into today's practice. We can also use this time to set an intention for what your practice needs to be. Suppose today you want this practice to be focusing more on flexibility, then you can focus on flexibility. If you want this practice to be more strong, you can focus more on the strength version. If you want to challenge your mobility, you can use this to practice your mobility. And whenever you're ready, you'll gently bring your awareness onto your breath again as you inhale and exhale. You gently bring your palms together in front of your chest. Rub your palms together nice and warm. Gently cup your face. You can press your fingertips around the eyes, eyebrows, and underneath the eyes. Wake yourself up. You can also press your scalp. Whenever you're ready, you can slowly open the eyes, either gently blinking down and looking up, or in the cup of your palms. Whenever you're ready, take your left hand down. Slowly take a nice deep breath in. Extend the right hand up into the left side of the floor all the way. Now make sure your shoulder is not coming up like this. It's nice and relaxed, open. Gently moving up, tilting your chest towards the ceiling. Now gently as you inhale over here. Exhale, slowly coming in to the front of the floor. Rotation downwards wherever your hand ends, place it there. Take your hand up towards the ceiling as you inhale. Hold it, tilt your chest. Exhale. As you inhale again and then you exhale, come back down. Use the floor to create a nice semicircle. Come back up and extend upward. Inhale here, exhale as you come back down. Slowly to the other side, hands come up, tilted up towards the ceiling. You may now slowly open up the legs also. So if you're bending to the right side, we will extend the left leg outside, gently to the side, bend in. We can bring our right forearm down, stretch it in, breathe through. Slowly, whenever you're ready, we exhale, come back up, reach for the toes, gently come in and touch. If you can touch your toes, you may touch your toes. If not, you can just stay here. So you can take your left hand in, hook it on your leg, take your right hand up and hold. You can pulsate. Pulsating movements, you can work your flexibility just a little bit. If you just want to hold the asana, feel free. 
whenever you're ready inhale over here exhale back down open up towards the ceiling inhale exhale come back in pulse it whenever you're ready come back up switch to the other side bring your left leg in extend your right leg out gently outside now you can also notice that maybe the leg may be a little bit more tight on one side if you cannot open it sideways you can bring it in to the front just a little, a little bit this is for people who have uh, extreme hip tightness you can bring it into the front challenging you can also open up the front leg if your right hip is as tight as mine, you can choose the option of bringing your leg in towards the middle somewhere and hold that there. Whenever you're ready again, left hand comes down towards the floor. Inhale, come back into the bend. Exhale, back in, hook your right finger in onto the toes. Left hand will go up and hold. Now remember, yoga is not about uh, forming perfect lines or holding perfect figures and shapes. Yoga is about feeling good. So you're going to make sure these asanas and stretches that we practice feel good. position If you're feeling of tarot and something is wrong, you might want to exit it and come back again and see what works for you and your body. Gently coming back up. Twisting into the other side. Slowly back up and you may repeat this stretch as many times as you like. Just make sure if you do three times on your other side, you're doing three times on this side also. Gently coming in, now making it a little bit more fun. You'll start twisting, squaring your hips to the front. So let this leg rotate. Engage your hips and pelvis and twist into the pigeon pose. Comfortably coming in, take this leg out. Now just go hips tight, sir. Can also move in for this variation. Can bend the leg behind. Can stay here. Now if your legs are bent like this behind, you want to sit up straight. If your legs are straight, you want to come down towards the floor and hold here breathe through we'll stay here for a good five deep breaths one inhale and one exhale is counted as one breath so you're going to inhale and exhale and that's one gently whenever you're ready and ready to leave the asana slowly come back up Come back into the middle now to bend the legs onto the other side twist in towards your pigeon again you can play around with your asana practice see what works maybe right side my what feels good may not feel good on the left side accordingly we will choose our asana practice again we will stay up here if that feels okay or if not you can bring it in towards the pelvis slowly extend and come down straight whenever you're ready coming back into the middle again moving into the butterfly pose so from here how do you come into the butterfly you gently twist your hips to the side and bring this leg into the butterfly now in your yoga practice there is no compulsion ki tabhiko asana practice is perfect you can choose what works for you now if today your hips are not being too nice to you or being too friendly you can open up your legs towards the front easy on the hips like so you can stay there now if your goal is flexibility you will pulsate into the front if your goal is mobility you will twist to the side 
if your goal is strength you will bring it in all the way you will sit up straight rotate the shoulders back and hold this asana here according to what your goal is with your yoga practice you may practice this, these asanas accordingly We'll stay here for at least five deep breaths. Whenever you're ready, we will gently move into another flow. So slowly we will take the right leg outside, almost into the pigeon, turn to the left side, slowly start lifting off the mat, coming up into your tabletop. Now place our knees and ankles down. Very gently you'll take your right leg outside towards the right palm. So inhale, exhale, engage your core strength, squeeze your belly in. Extend the right leg out first and then open it up to the right side of the floor. Now the goal with yoga practice is to not stomp your leg into the front. It is to be very gentle and slow. As you dip down, you may slowly open up your hands towards the front. Be comfortable with the pose. Make sure the toes behind are curled up. If you're not sure, the you have balance ko knee balance, then you can keep your ankles up to support your knee. If you think you're okay and your knees are fine, you can extend the ankle down to open up the hips a little bit more. Now, according to your goal of the practice, we will open up the legs in and out, in and out. Give your hips a nice movement. The goal is mobility over here. Mobility means a range of motion of your joint. Whenever you're ready to exit the pose, curl your toes back up. If not, gently come back up, back onto the tabletop position. Comfortably come back here. If you feel okay to move on to the other side, we do the other side back onto the tabletop left leg goes out and then left leg steps outside very gently towards the left palm goal is to add movement again so we open up the hips to the left side bring it back maybe whenever you're ready slowly leaning back curling the toes gently back up into your tabletop now whenever you're ready, we will come standing in towards the front of the mat. You can slowly curl your toes, slowly start to stand up. Now we will gently come down in again onto your toes. This is a little mobility drill for your knees and hips. Slowly standing up again, forward fold, hamstrings are engaged, back down, back up. We're also warming up your core muscles just to keep sure, make sure that your balance is working fine. And whenever you're ready, knees back down, back into the tabletop. Now we can do the cat and the cow here if you want. If you want to take some rest, cat and the cow. If not, moving into the asana again, extend your right leg in between this time, the palms. So you'll extend your right leg coming in between the palms, slowly making some space here, opening up your leg into the front. Now you're going to form a 90-90 degree angle. Whenever you're ready, make sure your balance is out straight. Inhale, take your hands up. Namaskar. Hold it. If you want to challenge your balance, come up onto your toes, lean into the front. Slowly back onto your heels. Gently back in onto your toes. Slowly back up onto your heels. Gently back onto your toes. Whenever you're ready, back into the 90-90 degree angle. 
gently bring your hands down in towards your chest. This part of the chest is called sternum. So you bring your hands in between here, the chest, palms together inward, elbows open nice to the sides, very strong. We will slowly breathe in, inhale, exhale and twist to the side. We'll hold this here. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently open up your left hand down to the side. The right arm goes up. Make sure your gaze is focused. Gently back in towards your namaskar. Slowly back into the chest and down in. Try and come down. Now if you want to make this a little bit more fun, walk your legs. Bend down in. Try and touch down. You can also go from beneath the legs. Hold this. Whenever you're ready, relax. Bring this leg up in. You may repeat it on the other side. Whenever you're ready, slowly coming back up. I'll show you another pose. You can repeat the same flow onto the left side. And whenever you're ready, you can come back in. Practice the standing version. Slowly come back up. Gently come up onto your toes. Standing in, up onto your toes. Inhale, coming up. Chair pose. Squatting down. Breathe. A chair pose is your knees. Do not exceed your toes. They stay behind and squatting down. Breathe through. Inhales, exhales. Hands are up, nice and proud. Slowly coming into the namaskar, back in. Repeat the same drill. Gently twisting in through the side. Hold the namaskar. Whenever you're ready to relax, we will slowly take the hands back in towards the middle. Squat down, reach down. Whenever you're ready, you can either come up into a forward fold, slowly inhale, Gently step back, high plank, knees down, chest down, walk in, open up your knees to end the flow. You can slowly come in and relax. Breathe through over here. You can stay here for 10 deep breaths to relax and whenever you're done, gently come back up. And that is it. So today's yoga flow was a standing balance and twisting very strong on the legs like i said we came down into the chair pose quite a lot we did the side twist now this is a part of twisting the torso side to side it's much a lot of uh, leg strength you require a lot of leg strength and core balance please make sure you do the left side also malaya right side whatever you do on the right side repeat again onto the left side Hold the asana for as long as you like. According to your asana practice, we can go in deeper to the stretch or according to your needs, we can stay exactly where I am and not push forward. Now, the more you practice, the more you become better at it. You may be tired, so you may not be able to push and be as good as you were one day before. It could be different. That's why yoga is called yoga practice because every day is different, even with the same asana. Two things also to make sure of is you are protecting your knees. So if your knees are feeling too much pressure while you're bending front and back, you may fold your yoga mat, place a blanket or a pillow underneath. So that because knee cap say them carefully, we can take care of. If you want, you can also gently just curl your toes to help the body weight onto your knees. Whenever you're ready, you can always push and do more on each side. You can do it more, you can do it less. You can go deeper into the stretch or you can stay exactly where you are. And that was it for today's flow. And I hope you enjoyed this twisting and turning and holding of core movements. And I will see you again tomorrow with another episode. And tomorrow we'll probably practice about something to do with sinuses. So I stay tuned and I hope you enjoy.